Today we're making a tomato pie with all these abundance of tomatoes from the garden. So here I have two deep dish pie crust. And you can certainly make your own if you're that adventurous. So first we're going to cover this pie crust with some tin foil and put it in the oven and pre-cook the pie crust. And this tin foil is just going to keep the edges from getting too brown. Next, I'm going to fry up some bacon to go in this pie. And I didn't really measure it here, just however much you like. If you like a lot of bacon, feel free to add more bacon. Next, I'm going to cut up my peppers that I'm going to saute. I've got a couple of banana peppers here and I think a bell pepper. I've got some onions and some garlic also. These are going in that pan with the bacon grease and I'll just saute them to a little bit tender. This is such a great dish and it really doesn't take that long to make. And normally you have most of the ingredients on hand. There's all kinds of variations out there. I've made it a bunch of different ways. It's usually the recipe I go by is just according to what is in my fridge. And the onions, the same thing, just loosely cut these up and we're gonna saute them in that same bacon. And I think I only used about half of this onion. It was rather large and about three cloves of garlic, but I'm not going to put my garlic in there yet because I don't want the garlic to burn. I did cut the garlic up a little bit finer than the onion. And this is <clears throat> elephant garlic that came out of the garden. It has a really mild flavor and I add it to almost everything I cook. These are getting a little translucent here. I'm just going to leave them on medium and let them finish it up while we mix up the other ingredients. Now here I have some pink Berkeley tie-dye and some black beauty tomatoes. I'm not peeling them, I'm just slicing them. These are what they actually look like on the vines. I grew these new this year and really fell in love with them. I love that sweet taste. They're not really acidic and they're just perfect for this tomato pie. So I'm slicing them and laying them here on this paper towel and sprinkling them with some Redmond's Real Salt. This actually has a smoky flavor to it. I'm adding some butter and garlic seasoning and I'm going to just let them sit here on this paper towel and sweat while I mix up the other ingredients. I'm adding my garlic to my saute mixture here. I'm going to let that simmer just a little bit more and then drain it onto my paper towel because I don't want all this grease in my tomato pie. I've taken the pie shell out of the oven. You can see it's nice and golden brown not too burnt. Now, the cheeses you use in this, I've seen where you can just use nothing but mayonnaise, but I like to use a mixture of cheese, mayonnaise, Parmesan, and heavy whipping cream.
Again, this is all preference. I did add in a little bit of um, sharp cheddar cheese and some pimento cheese. So just get creative here and add in all the different cheeses that you like in this mixture. Add your mayonnaise to taste and some heavy whipping cream. And you'll see the consistency here in just a minute that you want. You don't want it too soupy, but you want it um, where you can be able to spread it on top of your pie. And I think I had to add me a little bit more whipping cream to this because it wasn't quite spreading to my satisfaction. Now that's a better, real creamy. So now we're just gonna layer it into our pie shell. So I start off with the cheese mixture and get a good layer of that on the bottom. I've seen people also use sour cream and cream cheese. Now I'm gonna layer my basil and some rosemary. And next will be a layer of bacon. Everything's better with bacon. And then my onions and peppers and garlic. And next, we're going to do a layer of the tomatoes and letting them sit on a paper towel like this draws some of that water out because you do not want your pie to be soggy from the tomato juice. You want to be able to taste the good flavor of those tomatoes. Next, we just repeat with another layer of the cheese mixture. And you want to spread that out even. You get that good cheese and all those tomato crevices. And we'll just do a second layer, just like we did the first time. And as far as the herbs, you can use anything you have on hand. I have a lot of basil and rosemary. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more bacon, a little bit more of the onions and peppers and garlic. And then my last layer of tomatoes. This last tomato didn't want to come up very well. Of course, I got to use the last of my bacon on here. Next, I'm gonna add some more of that sharp cheddar cheese. And if you prefer mozzarella or any other type, a little bit more of the rosemary. Don't put too much rosemary because it can overwhelm the flavor. 
Now I'm going to put it on a baking sheet and I'm going to cover up the very edges with my tin foil so it does not burn the edges of my pie. And I'm going to run out of tin foil here. I'm going to grab me another little piece to go on the edge there. And you're going to put this in the oven on 350 for 30 minutes or until the cheese is melted and it's lightly brown. And this does eat well served right away. As you can see here, Greg already got into it before I could even plate it up. Not too cheesy, is it? Mm, perfect. Tomatoes, the peppers, the onions, the bacon, a little bit of basil. I think this is a keeper, don't you?